three-way ANOVA followed by post hoc test in Jamuvi. Three-way ANOVA is factorial ANOVA. And the three-way ANOVA statistical test is used when there are three different factors or three independent variables and one dependent variable. Here in the Jamuvi data view, I had inserted data for 96 cases. There are three different factors or three different independent variables. The first one is the job, the second one is the PhD, and the third one is the gender. And a fourth variable, which is the dependent variable. The first factor is the job factor or occupation. This factor have four levels in it, or four groups or four categories. Doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and nurses. In the second factor, which is the PhD factor, there are two levels, whether you have a PhD or no PhD. For the third factor, which is the gender, there are two levels, male or females. And for the dependent variable, which is the salary, the dependent variable is a continuous variable, which is the wages earned by individuals annually in pounds. To examine and determine whether there is a difference in the salary earned among the levels in factor one, the job factor, or whether there is a difference in the salary earned based on whether you have a PhD or not, factor two, or whether there is a difference in the wages earned based on the sex, whether you are male or a female, for factor three, then three-way ANOVA statistical analysis could be used or performed. The three-way ANOVA also will examine, in addition to the main effect of the three factors on the salary earned, um, the test will examine interactions between factors and their effect on the salary earned, whether factor one and two can have an effect on the salary, or factor one and three, or factor two and three, or factor one and two and three, can impact the salary earned. Whether uh, the job factor and the PhD factor can interact to affect the, uh, or have an effect on the salary earned, or whether the job factor and the gender factor have an effect on the salary, or the PhD factor and the gender factor have an effect on the salary, or whether the three factors, PhD, jobs, and gender can impact the salary earned. So to do the test, seven null hypotheses will be generated. The first null hypothesis states that there is no differences in the mean for factor one. The second hypothesis, null hypothesis, states that there is no differences in the mean for factor two, and the third null hypothesis states that there is no differences in the mean for factor three, and the fourth hypothesis uh, address the interaction between variable, uh, independent variable, or factor job, and factor PhD states that there is no interaction between factor job and factor PhD. The fifth uh, null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between job factor and gender. And for the sixth 
null hypothesis states that there is no interaction between factor PhD and gender. And finally, for the seventh null hypothesis will state that there is no interaction between factor job, factor PhD, and factor gender uh, to influence the salary earned. To perform the analysis in Jamovi using three-way ANOVA, click here on the icon ANOVA and then select ANOVA a new window will appear and in this we're going to select the salary and move it to the dependent variable and select the job factor the PhD and the gender and move it to the fixed factor immediately a uh, nova table is generated on the right hand side and as we can see here from the anova table a p value is generated and a f ratio is calculated and based on the p value which will be taken as significant significant if it is less than 0.05 uh, for the first factor there is a significant differences in the salary earned among four different classes of professions, doctor, dentist, pharmacist, and nurses. For the second factor, which is the PhD factor, there is a statistically significant differences in the salary earned between those who have PhD and those who do not have a PhD. For the third factor, which is the gender factor, there is no significant differences in the salary earned based on your gender. For the interaction between job and PhD, there is a significant differences in the salary earned. For the interaction between job and gender, there is no significant differences. For interaction between PhD and gender again there is no significant differences and finally for the interaction between job PhD and gender there is no statistical significant differences we could also do more uh, checking here and selection uh, for the model uh, I've already done this, so I'm going to undo that uh, and move it and then uh, explain how to in, um, select and move interaction into the model term. So click on the job in the components and then drag it to the model terms, the PhD and then the gender. And then for interaction between job and PhD, select this arrow and then click on interaction for job and gender select the arrow here click on interaction and for phd and gender select the arrow and click on interaction and for the three factors select and click on interaction could also select the assumption checks by selecting homogeneity test, normality test, and QQ plot. Again, in the table here, it shows that there is uh, significant differences, and this states that there is no homogeneity of variances, and the assumptions for, one of the assumptions for performing three-way ANOVA has been violated. However, ANOVA is a robust test, so we're going to move ahead with the test and the analysis and keeping in mind that there is one of the assumption have been violated. For the contrast, I'm not going to select anything for the post hoc test. We could select the first factor since it have four levels in it and the post hoc test will look at pairwise groups and try to find whether there is a significant differences between them in terms of the salary earned. 
so it says PhD factor have uh, four levels gender and the PhD both of them are um, dichotomous ie they have only two levels in them and the uh, p-value has been calculated for that it's just additional we could also select a post hoc test for the interactions all these interaction and move them to here again this will generate uh, uh, several tables and make things more complex but however we will explain uh, a couple of few tables of these generated post hoc test for the first job factor which have four levels in it doctor dentist pharmacist and nurses uh, the tucky test is selected here and from the tucky test table here it shows that uh, comparison between doctor and dentist there is a significant differences in the salary earned and we compare also the doctor to pharmacist or doctor to nurses there is a significant differences in the salary earned so this post hoc test will compare uh, two groups together and determine whether there is a significant differences for the phd it is just only two levels in it already calculated uh, and for the gender again two levels and it has been already calculated previously for the interaction again it's because it will become more complex but uh, it, uh, you could go for doctor with PhD and doctor without a PhD and determine the P value whether there is a significant or not and for the interaction between job and gender the same things are getting more complicated and for PhD and gender uh, uh, again uh, um, table is generated here and for the interaction between the three uh, factors uh, tucky test table outcome is generated uh, to determine um, p-value and differences based on pairwise comparison for we could also select the estimated marginal means and draw some uh, graphs uh, we'll move the uh, job into the term one and then add a new term and then we select the phd and add it to term two and then for gender for term three we could also add a new term and look for the interaction between job and phd um, and move it to that area and then click add a new term and then job and gender to uh, generate a plot or a graph um uh, job and gender here move it to job and gender and then uh, uh, phd and gender into uh, this place here and then select the three interaction and move them into a new uh, term so we have all possible uh, factors with interaction graphs uh, for the three factors um, going to have an output to show marginal mean plot and if we scroll down here a graph will be produced for all the requested estimated marginal mean so the first plot shows jobs and salary there are four levels doctor dentist and pharmacist and nurses for the PhD two levels and for gender two levels and for the second one shows interaction between job and PhD job and gender uh, gender and PhD and then interaction between uh, the job PhD and gender this is the way to perform three-way statistical ANOVA analysis in Jamuvi when there are three different factors or three different independent variables and one dependent variable that is continuous.